Hey guys, it's Gooniac, and we are getting ready to do an install of my afterburner on this brand new SU30. So let's take a quick look around. So everything's going to be going in, in here. We're going to get all this stuff apart. Yeah, there's a crap load of space in there. So Lots of room. It's not going to take too long. Let's go over the parts that we've got first. Nate, you can go ahead and start getting that stuff open all right. over here. So but these are the these are the parts. So here's the adapters. These connect to the motor. That's why we got to pull everything apart over there. Um, this is the controller, and then the um, adapters adapters plug into that. And then this is what connects to the battery. We'll go over it all once we get in there. But figured we'd give you a. Uh, a look at what it takes to install it all. Hopefully you can see it all. I'm going to have the hat on my head. This is a hat cam, so hopefully it all works. But we'll walk you through it. So right now Nate's going to take the, uh, the fans, fan hatch off. And then we'll get started. Speaking of fans, these fans are balanced perfectly. Well, that's good. Nothing to, nothing to do. Pull that out. So these are the new. Um, these are the. These are still the 18. Oh, they're still the 1850. Okay. They're not 1900s. Yeah, I'll take this one off while you're. Yeah. Doing that. So yeah, we'll get everything hooked up in here, and then we'll flip the airplane over and run the wires okay. through under the air brake. So I guess, as you were saying, there, there's a. An yeah. access here, You'll but then see. there's a another one on the other side that we'll yeah, get to. Yeah, under the under the air brake. Okay, we'll pop that out. Under the air brake, there's a little wire trough. Okay. Shut up, dogs. That's all right. That's why I locked them up. It's birds and squirrels on my patio. It's no big deal. Oh wow, that's easy. Okay. Bunch of room. So what's all this? I have no idea. It's like those some ESCs see those little green things. Oh, like I got it. I got it. It's, I think a, it's one of those. It's one of the ferrite rings. Yeah. I've, okay. So I guess we'll do that side first since you're pulling that thing out. Sure. Just do one at a time. Yeah. So. One thing I did forget to bring was my zip tie tightener, but oh well. Nah. So right. We don't have to have it. There's that. All right, let's do this. So uh, hopefully they color code the wire. Yeah, they do. Well, okay. we don't have to unplug them because all Close. this, all this excess. Oh, okay. So we don't just. We shouldn't have to. Yeah. No. Right. I know we might have. Actually, we have to. No, we do have to. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that. If they're color coded, then we're all good. They're yeah, the but color. the red goes to the black. Okay. Right. If you can remember it, we're good. But this is the first up close look at this plane that I haven't really uh, gotten to see it up close. Well, I mean, I've seen it, I just haven't actually had a chance to actually go through it. Here's with Frank on something. Yeah, we did that crazy flight with Frank the other day. Pretty cool uh, looking plane. Yes, expensive but cool plane. Yeah, I went to the hobby store yesterday, Aero Micro, picked this guy up. Nice that they take that. Yeah, no doubt. Team is very strong. It's super strong. So these are plastic? Yeah. Oh, it's all nice. plastic on the inside, yeah. and then the outside part is um, foam. Okay. The inside part is foam, the outside is plastic. Yeah. I'll have to go grab some tape so we can re tape these. That stuff is super sticky. Yeah, well, it's good because I'll we'll pull these out in flight. Okay. All right. Sure they did a good nice. job um, making them nice and tidy. Yeah. So those go like that. All right. Okay, so. You just have to remember that these they go sideways. So. Yeah, that's what I was looking at.
So these are some of the things I include with the kit. Um, everything comes together and pre-assembled, ready to go. Um, the balance lead adapter, all of that. But then I also include some extra um, zip ties if you need them. Um, this is the one we're going to use for the motor. So you got it, and then I'm going to eyeball it and make sure it's straight. You can always just drop it in that tailpipe too. Yeah, I'm usually pretty good about getting them straight. That on there. That's good. Okay, so let's get the uh, zip tie on it. Let's see. That's straight. All right. Yep. Just use these two things as reference here. And then straight there. Okay. Cool. So, and then with the zip tie, you make sure to put it where it's already going to be um, the end you where the wires are. Yeah. So that it's not going to cause any extra interference. And then. Put the CA around the base. Yep, a couple drops. I'll let you do that. Kicker's okay, right? Normally I use a zip tie um, tightener, but you didn't today it. we're just going to use some pliers. You can always just put, I mean, if the CA is there, it's okay. And I can CA is really going to be what's holding it. but. And I can always just drop a few drops of CA on the zip tie, too, so it can yeah. slide around. Do you have any pliers? Uh, what type? Uh, any kind. Maybe you know okay? Um, preferably a little bit. Oh, oh, yeah, cut it. Yeah, well, that that too, but I need regular, regular pliers. You know what? We could just CA it. The CA might be enough itself. Yeah, we just CA this one. Don't need to use the uh, zip tie because I didn't bring the tightener anyway. So let's just pull it off. I can do it. There we go. So there's that. But the main thing is to make sure that it's in line with the wires so that you're not going to cause any extra interference. That's it. That's all I need. So that's going to cut. Yeah. Got it. All right. So then let's put some CA. Is that a regular or foam safe? It's foam safe, medium. Okay, it'll, it'll have to work. Do you want the whole thing or just a couple drops? Whatever you want. Yeah, let's, You're the one in charge here. Depends on how you normally... I, I, I normally put glue all around the base. It does come off pretty easy if you want to. Um, so it's no big deal. Your end is a little weird here. The glue. Yeah, because that, that glue seems to be used. Alright, kicker. Get started. Normally I use thick, um, regular thick CA. But this should be good. Yeah. Yes, it's perfectly straight. Good to go. Make sure it's dry. Or set. Okay. It's good down in there. Yep, looks good. Alright. Now I'm going to go grab some Start running this stuff. So I'm have to run this wire from there up. So let's use the uh, free wing go get them wire, as they call it. Oh, yeah, I, was, I figured that out. Yeah, there you go. From a free wing plane, probably, right? Yep, T33. There you go. Stick it on. Yeah, T33, I love that plane. It's a good video you took. I didn't think I was that close to you. It was pretty dang close. I didn't realize it either until the video. I'm like, whoa, I guess it was close. It's catching, catching on something. Oh, it's on the wire. Five like idiots. Yeah. 
It's grabbing on something as it's coming back. That shows that my solders are good because it didn't yank out. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's get these plugged back in. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put the fan hatches on until uh, until we're all done, so I can make sure that the ESCs run in the right direction. Yeah, that's right. So it was red to black. So. Yep. I won't. We'll 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 button it all up when it's done. So that just can, just setting it in place for now. Yeah, just so I can. If the ESCs are running the wrong direction. Yep, that's smart. Then you don't have to undo all that stuff again. Nope. Okay. I'll put the, I'll, I'll, let's get that. Okay, I'll put the screws on the fan so when we flip it over it doesn't okay. fall out. So another thing that we need to check with, well, there's a groove there. Let's get it in the groove. It should just fall right in. There you go. Okay, so let's look in the back. So we're going to want to make sure that wire is tight, so we'll, we'll have to put it up on the other end. Yeah, we'll, That's we'll, do. we'll get it straight. We'll do it that when we, when we uh, button the whole thing up again. You know what I'll do? We'll uh, put the screws on the other side and just one. I'll flip it up now, so I don't lose them. But what we'll do, just to see how this looks. Do you want to light it up? Yeah, okay. just plug, plug the adapter into the JST. Yep. So this is another way you can test it. The way I have this adapter set up, it's so that it's only pulling 3S from your pack. It doesn't matter if it's going to be a 4S or an 8S setup. Whatever setup you use, just have to let me know. Right now, this is set up for a 6S, so it's just going to connect right there. All it's going to do is pull 3S voltage from this pack. So all we got to do is plug that in. Make sure you get it right. Make sure it lights up. It's lighting up the whole back half of the room. So. Jesus. Oh, God, you can't look Don't at look that. Don't look at it. Yeah, that so, yeah, good. that's plenty bright. That is more than bright enough. Yeah. Jesus. So, even during, the sun, even during the bright bright sun, you can still see it. Even those old, even those old lights you use, man, I can see yeah, those these, in the daytime. These are even better, though. They reflect better. Well, yeah, because of that glass lens yep. they got. That's insane. Thank you very much, Ray. Mm -hmm. so there's one. Well, so, then we'll have to deal with all that later. Yeah. Well, what I'll do is I'll just plug the fan right now. Get the fan. Make sure the fan's running the right direction. Okay. And then we can yeah. button up the wires and stuff. Okay. Playing real flat. I gotta get back on this model. This way, you'll at least get to see how long it takes to do it from start to finish. I've never been able to look inside of it, look inside of this plane. So they did a really good job with the ESC placement and then the solders, the way they put the two together. I think they might be bullets or they actually soldered. Lights look good on this thing. Mm -hmm. I definitely approve. Yep, that's right. We're good. So now let's move on to the next. Okay, so we got that one. Are we gonna the one you want to do this one first, or you want? We can to... button this up okay. since we know it's going the right direction. Let's get that one done. So we have to. We have. What did you say? We have to get the pull wires. It, pull it out. And then yeah, we'll, I'll tape up the wires and then. And then I'll route the wire the right way. If anything, I might use one of the zip ties. Yeah. Well, you're in charge here, so. Yeah, we'll work. We're doing it together. It's your plan, so let's get it the way you want it. Hey, as long as it works, I trust you. <clears throat> Tape up the wires or just some electrical tape. So then let's see. So tape the wire is right. Let's do this. There we go. Make sure you don't pull those ESC leads. Yeah, I'm not. This goes 
there, right there, right there. Let's get this right here. Right there. Okay, so go ahead and tape them. This is something that's good to do on all, um, especially higher powered planes. You want to have the ESC leads taped. Because even if they're, um, even if it's a tight connection, sometimes that little opening there, you can get arcing. It's best to keep them. Well, even if you're doing like pulling G's on your plane, they can. They could even pull out. Yeah. But I've had them um, arc on each other. Yep. Just that little bit of metal exposed. Yep. But this keeps them from pulling apart. Yeah. Most, more more than anything. More importantly than the, the sparking problem. Yeah. But when you go to the higher voltage, the sparking could be could happen even more. Okay. And I've had them melt the, melt through the foam. It's not good. Yeah, it's no fun. Yeah, it's not a neat job. It doesn't matter. It's working. That's all. Okay. That's all that matters. Okay, okay. so that, that. Let's get that. We may or, we may actually need the extensions. I got them. So thing. that's another thing too. We um, whenever I do these. Especially on planes like this, it depends on how you want to do it, but I always, especially with this plane because it's really long leads, I include some extensions if you need them. I'll do that with the F-14. It's mainly the F-14 because it depends on how you want to place things, and then with this one too, with all that extra room, we might need that to get to the front. Alright, button the so, fan down. Grab the screws. There's one. It's all two mil hex heads. Yep. Cool. One thing to think about too, whenever you put these things back together, these fans should just drop right back into place. If you have to force them, there's something you need to check. Yeah. Well, sometimes... Well, usually if you have to, then you plug the plane back in and the fan will be rubbing. Right. So. Well, this one's different because of the way the, the wires are routed. Yeah. A lot of times they go down and underneath. Yeah. Sometimes you got to move wires. But this one's working perfect, so go ahead and pull that one, too. Yeah, I'll put the fan edge back on. Okay. Just so we have less things rolling around. Yeah. Oh, they're specific for each other. Again, don't force it. Yep. Because these are sized a certain way. Well, because of the this side thing. Yep. I'm still in shock that I won that Marlins in days or, or a Dave Marshall. That's right. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna fly the crap out of Were you watching it? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you texted me and you're like, you're like, you, I won. I'm like, well, I was so confused. And then. Yeah, I almost missed it. Yeah, and there was a delay too, so he was about to, to yeah, skip. He was, he was about to skip me, yeah. That was good. I'm excited. I kind of wanted to get one of those planes, but I was like, eh, it's a small EDF. I'm not going to... I mean, if I'm getting it for free, of course I'm going to fly the crap out of it. So. Well, that's good for here. You can fly it with your other, other planes at that school. Yeah. Oh, I can fly anything at that school. Yeah, that looks good. That wire's hanging. We can tighten, we can pull it. That's true. It's just one of the ESC leads. Is it out? Or? Yeah, you can look. You can look. It's how it's dangling out a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, I see which one you're talking about. Okay. There, it's not now. Cool. There you go. All okay. Right. So, okay, so let's yank that one out, and then we got to pull the, uh, pull the, wires. the wires off. Get ready to get this thing back on. This is double the work because there's two motors. Same thing. Normally we'd be done right now, but yep. we're working on two. Okay, this tape's going to be a little more stubborn. I don't know where the end is. So in that case, Can you get it? Yep. Oh, we can get that one. I'm getting myself oh. first. I may have to grab a... I just like that they made this easy, so if you have to replace a motor or something, yep. make it easy. Pop it off. No problem. Yeah, 
I might just have to. Just for both or just one? Just both. The yellow one came off easy. There you go. One. Don't snip the wires. Now this thing was surprised, so easy to put together. Surprised they used fiberglass and not electrical. Let's get this off. Oh, there it is. There's the end. Oh, you found it? Yeah. Just hold the fan. Yep. So, yeah, either of these just came out of the factory perfect, or they. These are probably the new V2 fans where they balanced them. Yeah, I think these have been balanced. They sounded like they were. No, they sounded perfect. Yeah. Well, the last one. Let's see where the end is. You can't see the end on this one. Alright, let's slice it. You know what, sometimes. I can go grab a little razor. Nope, blade. don't need it. We're good. It pulls apart. You can still pull it, but you just gotta try really hard. Don't snip the thing. No. That would, that would kind of suck, though. Yeah, we're not going to. There we go. Cool. Alright. Look at the rest of that crap off. We can just leave it on here. It's not going to hurt it. Okay. All right, so let's put the, put the no. get them wire through. Just so yeah, you can go ahead and get started, and I'll do this. Yeah, that was the one thing. The F eighteen E flight. That was a pain in the butt to get the burn wire wire through. I didn't have an issue with mine. Um, I think it was just because I the, in the, the ESC. I don't know, but in the ducting. You know, there's like that piece, that painted piece of wood over the ESC, and then there's like the one that's not painted. Right. The one that's not painted, like they extended it too far, and it was on my fan, out of the box. My fan was rubbing. Uh-oh. So I had to like pull that wood out, and it was just, it was a pain. That's not good. I'm going to get rid of that plane. I'm tired of it. Two of them have crashed now. Yeah, I have a fix for it, so I'm going to try to do that first. Frank put the screw on his, but it's still... He didn't have a keeper on it. That was the problem. Because I like the way that plane flies. It's I just... love how it flies. So, you know, this is the one thing I dislike. They didn't put the motors all the, the screws all the way in. And then, did, did Frank upgrade his power system? Because I saw his video. It sounded like it got a little more push. Yeah, he did. He upgraded it a little bit. What did he put in it? His own setup. So, let's oh, okay. see. They, I thought it was a 20 These minutes. screws are exposed. Do you have Torx screws? Because these are not... Oh, wait. There's a big chunk of CA in there. I wonder why it's not going in. Um, That'll do it. Yeah, I'm wondering why it wasn't fitting because I checked it before. Um, you have a razor blade? Yeah, I'll go grab it. I was wondering why it wasn't fitting because it had gone on perfect before. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Let's else. And just like Pilot Robert says, no editing. You're going to see it as it is. I don't know how CA got stuck in there. That's just weird. Oh, from when I was gluing it here. I did it. I got it. So when I was putting the glue in to hold the, um, the LED in place, I slipped. Accidentally, I accidentally put some there. I might have to get my... Dremel from the car. Nope, I think I'm good. There we go. Poor dogs crying. Sorry, dogs. Well, they'll be fine with you, but they'll they'll run around and ruin the video. Yep, yep, the whole time. Well, the little one just doesn't shut up. There we go. That's, I knew I had it on there perfect. Cool. All right. I like the color you chose for the 3D printed base too. It's not. Yeah, um, this is and this is a, a stronger, um, stronger material. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, what's his face? Change it. Stronger material. All right, so that's there. So let's get it. 